Before you start the installation process, please check if your system fulfills the hard and software requirements. Insert your MDesign 2016 CD into the drive and call the installation file manually. Or download the current MDesign version online and open the download package. Execute the setup X file as administrator by right click. This is absolutely necessary, even if you're already logged in as administrator. Choose the installation language. Read and accept the license agreement. Choose the installation type, local, set up a complete M-Design working place. Now define the directory in which the software will be installed in. We recommend to use the default directory. Mark the libraries you've purchased with a check. The installation time depends on the performance of your computer. To use M-Design, you have to install the licensing tool FlexLM, if not already present on the computer. You will be asked if you want to use a separate license server. Because you are installing a single workstation, it is necessary to answer with no. Now define the directory in which FlexLM will be installed in. We recommend to use the default directory. Then execute the installation of the license manager. To perform calculations with mDesign, you need corresponding license files. To generate these license files, we need your host ID. Create your host ID with the host ID assistant, which will now open. Please fill in all fields of the dialog box. In the company field, you can indicate your company, your educational institution or your name. You can find your customer number on the order confirmation, invoice or in the email. If you purchased M-Design via the online shop, please fill in your reference number here. Save the created host ID file in a directory of your choice and then send this file by email to registrierung at tdata.de We'll send the corresponding licenses to the previously entered email address within three days. Enter the mDesign licenses to the folder License Files if you have chosen the standard installation path before. If a question regarding the administration rights appears, press the button Continue. Restart your computer.